Warning, this podcast may change the way you think about business, entrepreneurship, and money forever. The Conquistador Podcast was created for dreamers, entrepreneurs, and leaders who want to conquer their future. future, future. To be an epic entrepreneur, you must adopt the right mental paradigms as well as master the art of selling, marketing, and finance. Now, it's time to welcome two serial entrepreneurs, leaders, husbands, and fathers who are passionate about sharing the strategies that are helping them excel in life and in business. Here are Mauricio Garcia and Hubert Humphrey. So what are the qualities of the high achievers? That is what we're going to talk about today. I want to uh, thank you for listening to the podcast. If you are watching on YouTube, please make sure to like, make sure to share so that more people can have access to this information. Because today, as always, I am joined by my mentor, my friend and partner, Hubert Humphrey. How are you today, sir? I'm doing great, uh, Mauricio. Great to be with everybody today. It's uh it's another great great day, and uh, it's, it's amazing. Everybody was looking for tomorrow, but when we when we woke up today, the only thing we could find was today. Yeah, it's amazing. We uh, many times we live in el in el mañana, el mañana. We joke a lot. Uh, you joke with me a lot about you know, uh, mañana does not exist, and uh, let's not have too much too much fiestas and siestas. That's right. <laughs> you know, high high achievers probably don't have much siestas and fiestas. You know, no, their 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 whole their whole life is a is, is a fiesta. Their whole life is a fiesta for real. Well, because because, because they don't do much siesta, <laughs> and, uh, and, and and they and, and they're not looking for mañana. They're looking for right now. Right now, baby, uh, let's uh, go. What what you say? Solo solo. Uh, Moy. No, no, no hay no, mañana, no. solo hoy. That means it's not no tomorrow, hoy. only yeah. today. There's no tomorrow, yeah. only today. No, 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 no mañana, solo uh, hoy. Uh, hoy. Solo hoy. That's right. We got it. So we'll give them a good Spanish lesson. Hey, well, today. listen, yeah, we're reaching out to all of our all of our uh, fellow entrepreneurs. His, you know, any, that doesn't matter what nationality, uh, you know, I think uh, we're all looking to to uh, add value to the world with our products and solutions. Uh, but one thing is for sure, we got to act now. We got to act now. We got to act now, not not mañana. That's why we're always joking about that. But, um, you know, Hubert, you have seen so much talent, uh, you know, in your entrepreneurship career that expands over 40 years now. And I know that you've now, by now, you've identified what are those qualities that uh, those high achievers possess. And I want to talk about that because you, you know, I, I, I saw an interview that uh, somebody did to you a few years ago. And they asked you if you have made, because a lot of these people are multimillionaires and they continue to just make millions and millions and millions of dollars every year. And uh, the, the question that they ask you is if you've made them. And you said uh, something along these lines. It's like, no, they were just, you know, they were in the right time, in the right vehicle, right opportunity, the right paradigm. And so, but I know that they had, they possessed certain qualities and they acquired certain skills to be able to to go from where they were. Because when you when they first joined you, they were maybe just like you and me, right? You're a railroad, railroad conductor. I'm a factory worker. And many of these leaders that are now multimillionaires probably had similar uh, beginnings, right? But there are certain qualities. That's what, that's what I want to get to. Well, uh, let, let me, there's a lot of qualities, and we'll hit a lot of them as we go there, but just talking about what you just were saying right there, one of the main qualities that I have seen in my life as I've read about great leaders and studied them, but for sure as I've seen these leaders grow up in our world, that I, that I was involved with and related with and happened to be fortunate enough to be able to help be a leader and uh, an example as, they, as, they, as they've grown into tremendous successful stories is most of them in their, in their pre-entrepreneur pre life, they, uh, they, 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 uh, they, they were stuck in, average and or, in the average and ordinary world and they were stuck on some job that they didn't like. They were, they didn't have the money. They they were they 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 were 
put down. Uh, the expectations by their family and friend were very low, and they were told that they couldn't do it. I, all I know is that from the time I was, uh, I went off to college there when I was uh, was, was 19 there at Georgia Tech, and, and and then dropped out there at age at the end of my second year for I thought it was a summer job. So I ended up spending the next. Uh, 13 to 14 years of my life, 15, 16, 17 years of my life out on the railroad, riding, riding trains, and, and, I, never, and I, I, I was sidetracked, and I got put off into a J, J-O-B that I didn't like, a lot of dangerous jobs. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I had so much of that frustration. I had a chance for, for, for to get tremendous frustration built up in me. And so by the time I was able to become an entrepreneur, a real entrepreneur with a real opportunity, which which I had there in uh, in, in that January of '78 when I find A.O. Williams and join it, uh, I was fully charged. My batteries were fully charged. So most of, one of the quali- qualities that I find for most successful high achievers is that, buddy, they were fully lar- charged with frustration early in their life, mm-hmm. or early in, in a portion of their life that that allowed them to when 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 the opportunity was right, they were ready. And that energy propelled them forward. So that that's one thing that I know is common to most of the people that I could tell you stories about. And I know that's the way it is about you. I, I know your story, and I know what all you went through and everything, what all you've done. And by the time you you found the right niche, you were ready. And yeah. uh, and, and and now nothing can stop you. And uh, but but just going back to qualities here, I, I just throw out a few of them here. They, the, the the ones that become the super very high achievers. They they are they are driven, determined dreamers. Uh, we say that all the time. But yep. They are driven, they're determined, and and they continuously dream. They ha- have a high, a high FQ. They can take a they can take a knocking and keep on rocking. They they can't be kept down. They they they're not they're not only visionaries, meaning that they can see they can see into the future a, a, a little bit. And a lot of times they stand on the shoulders of other people and they can see in the future. But, but there's two kinds of things. You've got to be a visionary in that you do recognize and see things in the future ahead of time. Yeah. It's kind of see where you are. But you also need to be a visioneer. A visioneer, meaning you're actually now taking that vision and you're going out and engineering your life off of that vision. That's a visioneer. So a visionary is somebody who sees something. A visioneer, is a, he not only saw something, but he did something about it. Mm-hmm. And, and that's, a, that's a big deal. And and they all the, the great great leaders somewhere along the line they 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 became students of human nature and they 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 learned more about the human person and they they learned the the, 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 the powerful art of persuasion that uh, that 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 the, how to be able to convince people to follow them and how to set better examples for them uh, most of the real successful people that I've dealt with in our life in our industry. They were they, they they became more of givers and, and not takers. They, mm-hmm. they were they mm-hmm. they uh, they loved to give and to share. They were servant had a servant leader mentality. They're not perfect at it, but they the, the real successful ones just looked out for their people. They cared about their people. They they tirelessly spent money on them and, and, and recognized them and led the way. And, and that's sort of what I passionately did all these years. Uh, and, and most of them were fearless, loaded with courage. We're, we're not scared to dare to dream. That's, that's a common phrase, dare to dream. Well, for a lot of people, don't want to dream because they, dreaming means that they, you, your dreams might not come true. Uh, that you don't want to get out of that comfort zone because something can knock you down. What will the people say? What will your family say? And, and they're afraid of failure. And so they, they, more people are trapped by they don't have that, that courage to dare to dream, mm-hmm. dare to go do something. I mean, uh, everybody's got to do some of that kind of stuff. But uh, and then another one is, is most of the great successful achievers I have. They were great copiers. They knew how to copy the right thing, uh, correct principles, exactly and and fast. They they learned how to. They just didn't have time to get around and create stuff from scratch. They, they somebody somewhere has always has always got something pretty close to what you need. Just take it and build on it. Take it, build on it, and uh, and you'll find that to be the case. And just add it to your system, and sure. and and, uh, and and do do those sort of things out there and everything. So, the, you got all you got all those things. And uh, the great leaders that I know always had they always got around great people. They had good people around them. They I, I look at all the people that helped me on the inside of our companies, 
the leaders out in the field, they were they, those were they became my mastermind alliance, and I didn't have to be geniuses and all this stuff. I, like today, I got a Steve Gross there, mm -hmm. a Bobby Dollar. I got different people. I got a, a Jody Humphrey. I got people on the inside. I got you. What what do my 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 future in my future in technology and social media is I'm sitting here right by you talking to you, mm -hmm. Mauricio. Mauricio mm -hmm. is a round part of my life and and is adding this whole new dimension to our business. You know, who would have ever thought Hubert Humphrey, if Art Williams could only see me now, <laughs> with podcast. <laughs> you know, we've been we've we've always done TV shows and had networks, but a yeah, podcast, yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. Yeah, so so. so the, but great, you well, you've great always done great you. things. I mean, you had a set. I mean, you you were on a whole satellite channel. You had the, the, oh, the yeah. I, I don't know what it was. Yeah, uh, that's the key. But, yeah. but, but but this is a modern technology now. Right. It's, right. It, it's not this. It's, it's not just, sitting here talking to this fancy mi microphone. You know, right. It it's 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 how it's getting out to the to, to the, the masses out there. That's the yeah. key. It, all great leaders had passion. They had a uh, 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 they had they they enjoyed what they did. They they and they were adventurous. I've always been a great an adventurer. I mean, I I, I look at this as just some great adventure I'm on. I'm, I see, I got that Alexander Inc. mentality, the Alexander Complex, and I've, I've been on this long odyssey. A. L. Williams became Primerica. That was our first big odyssey. We conquered the industry that way. Then we the next part of that continuous long continuum. I treat my whole business world as a continuum. This is the mm -hmm. third ring of the trilogy so to speak like the lord of the rings it's sure. it's, a, it's a, i'm on this long odyssey and, and so I, it's just exciting for me it's a uh, i don't know maybe it's a, I, different people or have different things but it to me it's exciting i i the unknown no, I, excites me you know i know that i i can i can sense that and i i can see that in the boldness of uh, of the actions and everything that's going on I want to say there's, a, you know, entrepreneurship is is a hot thing right now. Everybody wants to be an entrepreneur. Everybody wants to be in business for themselves, and I like that. I think there's a lot of, of great things behind that. But also, um, people I think are not understanding because sometimes they buy the entrepreneurship thing as all the material things that could come about be building a very successful business, right? And a lot of, I think, influencers and people are selling maybe the wrong idea, right, with the jets and the helicopters and the Lamborghinis and the and everything. And so you cannot get there unless you truly de develop these skills and possess these qualities like, like, you know, understand to value time. It's not, entrepreneurship really isn't what you see in the screens. Uh, you call it, you know, I don't. You call it, or I heard it, like a, this this financial pornography that you see out there. This this or it doesn't have to be financial. This entrepreneurship pornography that you see out there is it it it's really it's it's really um it it's uh, I don't know if it's an art. What would you call it, Hubert? It is not like this walk in the park. It, it you know, no, and you're it's, not it's going a... to be successful at it unless you develop these skills and have, and possess these these qualities that we're talking about. Yeah. Maybe it's not so even I, for everybody. Well, that, that, yeah, listen, there's a there's a place for all people that can teach people how to have better attitudes and and improve themselves and self improvement coaches and all that kind of stuff. I'm I'm not knocking any of it. I'm just saying the bulk of it uh, out there. And, and there's 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 a few million of these things floating around out there that that are they're getting people they get they they get people all jazzed up about something and then when they leave. Uh, other than buying a book or tape or something that these people are selling mm -hmm. at one of these events or one of these online deals, uh, th then they go back and then, now what next? Well, in a day or two or three or four or five, uh, it, all the air leaks out of the balloon. Uh, we, I've always, I've always tried to make sure our people, they got our, we got our motivation by the doing and the achieving built into our system, and and the recognition within our amongst our peers and in our leaders. The, the greatest people that can influence us the most are the ones that are, have the moral authority that are doing what they we're doing what we want them to do. They can follow what we're doing, and they get they get that we hey we can give this we give great speeches, but they're coming with a moral authority. When, when I'm talking to some of our people about something, I'm not talking to them about something that I went to some seminar and learned. I'm, sure. I'm talking about something that I used in my life, still do in my business, in my life with my people, and my people use it. They use it. It, it works that way, so so that's the key, and 
in, in we, we, people forever people forever knowing and never doing I, I don't like that I, I like I like I like when you gain the knowledge and the inspiration it, 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 it translates right into the doing and and, and and you gotta you gotta be tied into something you, you, well and one other thing I gotta say you were talking about Lamborghinis all these big cars yeah I, I I've, I've had I've had hundreds of cars I've had every kind of car you could think of out there had all I've had 13 jets I've got all that stuff had mansions all this kind of stuff and those were great. but those didn't build my business those were just fruits that I was able to achieve after I built my business the, the mm -hmm. mistake these people have got is they're throwing all this out there saying hey you get in here and you can have this I never I never held that out to people when we were building an A.O. Williams, and we, we went out and built an empire out there uh, without all that. I mean, we had success. We did good. I didn't pay attention to what kind of house I lived in for years. I didn't care what kind of car I was driving. The opportunity was the dream. Yeah. The opportunity was the success. And the fact that I was making money and they could make money, that we could, cho we could choose whatever we wanted. We just kept doing it. Because the minute you start stopping and buying a bunch of toys, you start playing with them, and your business slows down. So I have a lot of reasons why we did that. But yeah. now down the road, people need to know that they can get that. And, and leaders do need to be able to have uh, what, whatever whatever successful leader, and he goes and spends money on it. If he's earned it and achieved it, he needs to do it. And that will affect other leaders who will say, I, well, if he can get his, make his mm -hmm. dreams come true, I, there's a place for all that. But you don't, that the key to entrepreneurship isn't just being attracted by some somebody that's running around and got all these things beware of beware of a lot of people showing you pictures of things that they you think they got the, the, the they're just borrowing them and they the, the, by the time you watch the video they've lost them so so don't just yeah be careful the, 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 yeah the main thing is that i i i, I uh, being a human you know when i first started in business i also kind of thought that that was the entrepreneurship world until you are there and you see that it's really it's more about the dedication and the discipline the hard work and uh, waking up early and putting even twice as much time as you do in a regular job and doing all these different things and maybe you get the opportunity to build a great business and there's nothing wrong with with the mansions and the cars and the planes and all that I, there's nothing wrong with that um but it's not what we ought to be chasing to start with because in most That's times right. that doesn't right. come fast and that could kill your dream uh, you know if, if that's what you focus on now I want to make sure I squeeze these things in here because time being one of the most valuable resources and limited resources that everybody have how do high achievers these high achievers that you've seen um, in your lifetime how do they use time how do they go about time Using their time, and just in general, well, how do well, they view time? Well, 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 most of them understand that, uh, that that time is precious. Time is the currency of their life. It's the currency of which uh, they exchange their time uh, for the efforts that they've got to do to end up one day having the rewards that they want to have. So the price tag for what you want is is, is not in dollars, but it's in it's in time. It's this many days, this many hours, this many weeks, this many months, uh, this many years. Th that that's that what you want has got a price tag over there, not in dollars. Mm -hmm. It's got a price tag of time, and and so they they learn to compress time and they collapse time frames and and not waste time, you know. And and, they, and it, it, time is the great equalizer. All of us born on this earth have the same 24 hours in a day, same uh, you know 60 minutes in an hour, etc. So we've got to learn to do do well with this. The the one thing that I that I that I've found that that really, especially in our business uh, model that we have, is that if, if the thing you want to do, as opposed to showing them all this, 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 what, this just, just the things that they can get, it's great to show them what they can get, the kind of life that they can have, they can do these things. But you've got to get them to where they, they, they you got to sell them the, not only the dream of, of having it, but the dream of achieving it. Mm -hmm. And they've got to get just, the only the people that get it is, is excited about it's, it's like the reason why I like the Patriots won all those championships, all those Super Bowls. And Tom, uh, Tom Brady, for example, Tom Brady, Tom Brady loves the practicing and the process than he, that more, more than he does the rings. Because every time he gets a ring, the first thing he does, he's heading back out there practicing with a bunch of his guys, wanting to do because he he loves the doing the process. He when you get where you love 
you love the, the, the effort that you've got to put out as much as you love the achievement of the end result, that's when you've got it made. That's when you'll, mm-hmm. be, you'll continue to build in your life. You'll always have excellence. You'll grow something big. I, I've, I've, uh, I've, hey, I've had lots of things, but, I, but you know what I have? I love more. I love the doing of it more. I love the journey more than I do the arrival, <laughs> mm-hmm. if you understand what I mean. And most people got it just backwards. Right, they, they're in it for the money, they, not not for they, what they yeah, can yeah, achieve. Yeah. They're being attracted towards some money, right. and nobody's nobody's setting them the dream of the system and the process and the effort that you can do, and we'll help you get there, and you're gonna love it. We're gonna have a ball along the way. We're gonna we're gonna play where we work. We're gonna work where we play, and it's gonna compound into. Oh, oh, by the way, Lord, oh, by the way, you happen to have a new home. Oh, by the way, you got this great new car. Oh, by the way, you got this. Uh-huh. It, 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 you know what I mean? That, that's what we've always done. And, and, it, and it's, it, thousands of people have, along the way have succeeded because they, they love the process more than they did the, the end, end reward. Right. And how good of listeners. I've seen a lot of people sometimes they come into the space. Uh, you meet them and they just talk, 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 talk. Even, even if they haven't done anything real big in their lives, they, they act like they really know everything. I wonder how these high achievers act. Do they just talk, talk, or are they good listeners? Like, what have you, you know, because they're, they're, there's something in learning how to listen. Well, it, it, the, great, the, you know, the great listeners are the, are the great learners. You know, uh, you, 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 there's a time and a place for talking. If you, if you end up in a position of leadership with, the, with people, you're going to have to talk. You're going to have to convey messages. Uh, but a lot of times, if you are a do-it-first leader, you're out there doing the very thing that they've got that you're trying to get them to do, and they see it. Like our guys, I want them to keep running what we call a base shop, keep running a fresh organization, bringing new people in, training them, and keeping them going, always being perpetually pregnant with opportunity. And all these other guys out there that are building, they said, "Well, gee, but if you were doing it, I, I need to keep doing it." Mm-hmm. I, I, of all the, I give speeches all the time. But but me doing it and they seeing me on a leader bulletin back in the day, th- that was much better than any speeches I ever gave. And it can it, it that's the, that's really what you got to get people to, to, to see. And uh, talk talking, you know, if what's the old saying? The Lord gave us two ears and one mouth. We just need to understand which one we need to use the most. And it's yeah. listening. Yeah, I, I was I was kind of what I was trying to uh, convey is that there is um, sometimes. Today, people, and not this is obviously not everybody, but I think they're too too smart, right? Not really having this attitude, this to to listen to people that have been there, done that, to you know allow their minds to be expanded by more experienced individuals. I've just seen that, that attitude quite a bit, and then you know, a few months well, later, that, sometimes that, that, a few years later, you see them completely hey, blowing up. That, hey. That they first of all that that that's that's forever in every generation in every time that's the way it is. If people people mistakenly think that they've got it, a lot of times people say, "Well, gee, uh, if he did it, it must be easy. I'll go do it." Right. And a lot of a lot of people care more. They they care more about creating and trying to start something new. Some people have a compulsion that they got to have a they got to start some new idea. And it's got to be their name on it. Or they, uh, or they won't get excited about it. That, that's just some people suffer from that syndrome. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I've even got leaders in our business that, that have headed down a path and all. They said, well, you know, but that worked for Hubert back 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. That, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put a few little wrinkles to it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to move this piece and this piece and this piece, and I'm going to do it. Well, it, it'll still, the system is so good, it'll still run, and you can still make a good bit of money. But whatever success you had, it, you could have doubled or tripled or quadrupled it if you'd have copied it exactly. And I can tell you stories right here. Some of our biggest, I can tell you this, our biggest learners, our biggest achievers probably felt that way in the beginning, and some of them changed it quicker. Some did it in six months. Some did it in a year. Some of them, it took two and three years for them to finally realize, oh, my gosh, mm-hmm. I, I didn't know it all. I shouldn't have, I should have took it and copied it exactly. And, uh, and, and they come around. And next thing you know, they go on and finish the job. But it was lessons learned, and they're able to teach their people with authority. It happens. It, is, it happens. And today, today, the, the 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 social media world, internet world is filled like it always has been, but even more so now, 
with all these people that are talk, 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 talk. You got you got talk shows on everything. Everybody's got a podcast on. You got podcasts about podcasts. I mean, <laughs> absolutely. We, we, you, you, every, every, I saw something that said there was one and a half million podcasts created in the last twelve months in the country. I mean, that's a lot of podcasts. That and, is uh, a lot of podcasts. It's, 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 everything about politics. This, that, everybody's got a policy. Every time it's talk, talk, talk. Talk shows are the rage. Talk, talk, talk. On TV, on radio, on, on the internet, wherever, just talk. And, and it's, it's, it's just people, it's just people, the, the people are driving around in their cars or at home just wanting to be, it's like it's, uh, it's, like it's medication for people. They just got to listen to chatter. They, they can't go to sleep unless they got chatter going on. They can't go to sleep when they can't, they can't get through the day if they hadn't if they hadn't heard, heard some other stories. Just to keep and, them, and, it's, it's, it's just to keep them through their life. And, and people are just pouring this chatter, chatter. It, it's it's it, it, everybody's uh, much ado about nothing, you know. And well, we've got all these experts giving opinions, and ninety nine percent of what's going on out there, they, they don't know what they're talking about. They have no knowledge, real knowledge of it, and it's incorrect. But you know, that, who cares at this day and age? There's, there, there's no fact checking podcast. You know, but I think um, it's where we have to learn how, how to make a right choice of what we are listening to and who are we listening to. And I think the bottom line is that I think great achievers are great listeners. They, you said it many times, you know, great followers first before they are leading. And for everybody that may be thinking that maybe, you know, they're in an opportunity, maybe in a company that maybe they didn't start. They're not the original founders of it. I've seen a lot of people create a lot of wealth in uh, being an entrepreneur inside of a company. It's like an entrepreneur like Steve Ballmer from Microsoft. Like there's a lot of different things Like you don't necessarily have to be the founder of everything. You don't have to no. be, you just have to be, become so, uh, I don't know if the right word is indispensable, but just become so valuable where you are now that you can actually, you know, eventually, uh, you know, even if you didn't find it, be, have e equity uh, participation, but you, you just find ways yeah. to become so valuable to your organization. You could, you could apply all the entrepreneurship skills and all the entrepreneurship mentality, the psychology, even if you're not the founder of it. And, and, and maybe yeah, absolutely. Uh, you've seen that. Absolutely. Well, hey, when I, when, I, when I joined Art Williams, I was not the founder of A.L. Williams. Mm -hmm. Art was the one that wanted to do the buy term and invest the difference and and he just sort of luckily had laid out a platform where he wanted part-timers to come in. He wanted people without experience to come in, greenies. Uh, and he was uh, wanted people to be able to make to make money. And he had got the industry to do some annualization in advance so quick cash flow could come. And he had set everything up. He just had, did really wasn't really a recruiter builder type. He was more of a crusader coach. And uh, and I had luckily had it brought in this thing I'd learned in Amway this system and uh and just eased it over onto his platform and over the next few years we we just went and built an amway of insurance and mutual funds and nobody talked about it and uh and, and so i wasn't the founder i was the i was the beneficiary of others and uh that, that went forward and uh that's the way it's always going to be the people the people that helped me build world marketing lines our second company we uh, we had one or two guys that had made more money out of it, cash flow out of it, than I did along that period of time because I was pouring everything back into the company. They were making tons of money, and I knew I'd make my payday one day in the equity side. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I shifted my mindset to to the equity side of things, and so so and those people built the fortunes, and today they're very wealthy, not because they founded anything, but because they uh, uh, they uh, compounded. Uh, things instead of founded, they compounded uh, somebody else's efforts and, and built on it, and that's the key. the the key The key is to is, is to is to get into an alignment with a success flow, and get the inevitabilities going for you. You know, all the all the different. And I, I like financial inevitability. I like system inevitability. I like demographic inevitability. I, if you're around something where there's inevitability. Man, that's a good thing to get. That's a wave. Absolutely. The wave of inevitability is what you want to do, and and yeah. so I, I'm just saying, pe people who have become high achievers come from all walks of life, and the people that are listening to this broad podcast and watching it, the the high achievers that I know anything about are just like you. They look like you. They act like you. They talk like you. 
They've, they've been through your experiences, and now you just need to become one of them. Well, if I have one more thing I want to cover, I know we're probably a little bit past our uh, traditional time of the podcast, but it's about taking action. I have probably, the one thing that has really helped me excel is adhering to the idea of taking massive, imperfect, but immediate action. I'm always thinking that way because, uh, you know, action always gives you kind of the, you just, action will give you the knowledge that you need to go to the next step. So what are high achievers that you found? How do they, do they take a long time to take action? Do they, do they read everything about everything before they take action or they take action first and then kind of build a parachute uh, and then build the, you know, jump out of the plane and build a parachute on their way down? Type of well, thing. Uh, probably, probably in the beginning they were a little slower to act. I mean, that's some, that's a, that's an ability. To, it, all these things we're talking about, guys, are not God given. You are born. You can either do this. You can either be a great achiever or not at birth. No. Mm -hmm. If nothing I've ever been involved with had anything to do with talent, it had it had to do with abilities. And even what you're talking about there, to make decisions and be decisive and, and move now. That's you can improve. I, I, I have become a very decisive person over the years. I like that uh, an imperfect plan violently executed now is much better than a perfect plan constantly delayed. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what I understand that. And I've gotten better at it and better at it and better at it. So I don't want people to think they got to be perfect like that. But but you need to be doing it enough to where you finally get real good at it. And any any anything that we're talking to you about right now, you probably won't be good at it to start with, but because you want to win so bad, it'll keep driving it. And repetition is the mother of skill. It's to, it's just keep doing it. And you get better. You get better. And you get better. You get better. And you get better. And eventually, you're gonna when you start realizing how valuable your time is and how critical it is. And when the the thing about windows, when we talk about a window. We don't create windows. Windows are created by outside forces that we don't have anything to do with, but we've got to be able to recognize them and, and, and recognize them and recognize when they're open. And when they're open, you've got to get urgent because as, as quickly as a window can open, it can close yeah. or it can shut. So we've got to, we, we, it's like, it's like a, when they're trying to blast off a spaceship to, to the moon or whatever, a rocket ship. You know, they count 10, 9, 8. Many times they get down to 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and, 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 uh, and they stop because why well, the window closed. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the conditions, the atmospheric conditions change, or something changed. Or windows are very fragile, delicate things. They require what you just said. You've got to be, you got to move, you got to, you got to mobilize. So the ability to keep your people aligned, alignment, and, and keep your people on a common mission and keep your people understanding that, they, that they've got to be on alert. Six, one, one little simple thing that I learned many years ago that, that helped me a lot uh, is that success is a state of emergency. Hmm. Uh, I never thought of it. Most people are ill-prepared for success. I mean, they pray, uh, they, they pray that they can have this stuff. They, 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 I wish the Lord would send me this. Please, Heavenly Father, help me with this. Do this. They want this and they want that. And they, they wish they could, hope they could. And all the things about success are just flying by them, and somebody else is getting them. What you're looking for, somebody else has done found. What you think is impossible, somebody else is doing. And so mm -hmm. they don't know that. And so they've got to, they got to kind of wake up out of that deal right quick, and and and, and, and go hit it right now. Uh, don't don't uh, don't do that. Too many people are too. When success is knocking on the front door, they're out in the backyard looking for four leaf clovers, hoping they'd be lucky. Well, Hubert. Thank you for that. And uh, because success is a state of emergency, let me just remind people what is about to happen within just uh, 48 hours here. The Conquer event. You cannot miss the Conquer event. It is an event that has been prepared exclusively for all those driven, determined dreamers out there that want to know the secrets, want to hold the keys to be able to unlock you know, that door that will take you into that building a successful business. So with that being said, I want to remind you not to miss the upcoming uh, Conquer event that is happening this 
uh, starts Friday, goes Friday and Saturday, March 26 and 27. And you can register to be there at ConquerEvent.com. You do not want to miss it. Like I said, we have uh, guest speakers that have been uh, have built m many successful companies, have been a part of building extremely successful companies. And so having the opportunity to hear from them, it is, is priceless. And uh, the, uh, we, we've made it so easy for everybody to be able to have access to this uh, virtual conference. So just check out all the details by going to ConquerEvent.com. And uh, yeah, let's, like we, we started the podcast saying there's no, there's no mañana. It's oi, 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 oi. So, you know, we got to go there right now. And also, we have to thank our sponsor today, Hegemon Group International. Thank you for making this podcast possible. And if you are in a situation right now where you need to make more money, you need to change careers, you want to do something that is fulfilling, something that really uh, adds value to the marketplace out there, you have to check out what Hegemon Group International has uh, as, as an opportunity by going to HEIOpportunity.com. That is HEIOpportunity.com because that is the opportunity that will enable you to take advantage of a very big uh, opportunity. This window opportunity is open. You got to go through it like Hubert uh, said it. And uh, you'll learn more about it by going to HEIOpportunity.com. And Hubert, as always, thank you so much. I think we learned a lot today about what are the qualities that high achievers possess. And we'll see you tomorrow. Well, hey, we'll see you tomorrow. And we're going to have not only have a great podcast, but we'll be there getting everything ready to launch the, uh, uh, the great uh, Conquest event. So we'll see you twice tomorrow. Can't wait. See you all. Warning. This podcast may change the way you think about business, entrepreneurship, and money forever. The Conquistador Podcast was created for dreamers, entrepreneurs, and leaders who want to conquer their future. future, future. To be an epic entrepreneur, you must adopt the right mental paradigms as well as master the art of selling, marketing, and finance. 